Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, July 19th, 2020. I have finally got my Detroit Speed front end on the car. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of getting everything mocked up and whatnot before I really secure that front end, um, before I secure that front end to my frame jig where it can never move ever again. I can start building my frame. I went ahead and <clears throat> I wrapped my uh, upper and lower control arms and masking tape. They already had a really pretty um, <clears throat> nice powder coating on them from day one. They're like the only thing on the car that's actually got a nice coating on it. Didn't want to lose that, so I went ahead and wrapped them up in masking tape. I really love how the spindles uh, that come with this one are aluminum. That's cool. It's, <clears throat> it's obvious to me, looking at this DSE stuff, that I am dealing with true pros at this point. Everything of their craftsmanship is absolutely just amazing. If you have a look here at like the, uh, the upper control arm assembly, um, it is just TIG welded and beautifully machined to the T. <clears throat> One of the things that I'm really coming to appreciate right now about the, tr the folks at DSE is they label all of their fasteners, like this one right here says, Chevy 2 Front Frame Bumper Hardware Kit, right? Well, the reason I've come to appreciate that much, so much, is because the folks at Heights just give you this great big shrink-wrapped thing of bolts, and they basically count on you to locate them and to measure each bolt in order to figure out what goes where as per the instructions. And that's okay, but DSC makes that a whole lot easier than Heights. So anyways, I'm getting my front end mocked up on my car. I've got to get my ride height on the front set, you know, where it's going to go. That way I know where my height's independent rear suspension needs to be located vertically. I can then at that point, you know, raise it up to match the front end of the car. That's kind of where I'm at. It has occurred to me that I've ever so slightly screwed the pooch on this. Um, my wheel spacing is going to be 120 and 120.65 because I'm using a different front end than a rear end and so forth. Um, so I may actually have to order rear wheels for the car that are in ever so slightly different wheel spacing. Um, in the event that the wheels that I want are not available in both spacings, I could be screwed on that and have to go with a different wheel. Who knows? We'll see. Um, I've been told that you can run um, 120 and 120.65 wheels interchangeably. I don't know how true that is. We're going to see. So that's kind of where I'm at at this point. I'm just, you know, kind of mocking everything up and making sure everything is, uh, you know, where it's going to go. That's really difficult to do because, for instance, my upper cowl, uh, as you can see there, my upper cowl is not welded in place yet, right? So you can't really do a whole lot of aligning when there's nothing to align to. So that's where I'm at with the car. <sighs> Sunday, July 19th work on this thing a little more and then get in the pool because it's hot as hell out there uh if you guys want to see more click subscribe i would ask that if you made it all the way to the end of the video please do me a favor click the thumbs up it gives me a little bit better rankings on youtube and gets us uh, some more exposure hope y'all enjoyed it hope y'all have a great and safe weekend take care ian here from redline bye